Alright everyone, welcome back to Dark Souls 3 with DLC. If you recall last time, we went ahead and exhausted Yol of Londor. He's dead, and we have Yoria of Londor now. I did a little bit more research into the character stories. I'm honestly not 100% if I'm going to go all the way through Yoria's, Yoria's storyline, because that will involve the death of Henri of Astora. And I would really enjoy doing Henri of Astora's storyline correctly. So, we'll just have to see what happens. Uh, we'll not really do anything in this place that affects either of them. So, we're going to continue through the Undead Settlement. So, let's get moving. As I said, we have a really good magic meter right now. So, we'll probably focus on using our magic against our enemies. Yeah, we're one-shotting all these bastards. Also, as you can see, being Ember did not get rid of my Dark Signs. I don't really know how the dark sign stuff works. Uh, there's a shield over here. Small leather shield. I think it actually said they show up in the inventory. Five dark sigils. Could I discard them? I don't know how this shit works. Well, anyway. Around the corner here, first we'll take care of the worker. Okay, took three hits there. Okay, so you want to knock this down. I don't think you can actually grab it here, so knock it down. There we go. And we can grab it once we're down there. As you can see, there's a lot of hollows down there. Okay, so you can go ahead and firebomb. Get rid of them, and toss one over there, too. Oh, missed. There we go. That eliminates a pretty good chunk of those bastards before you even get down there. So, good to do. Watch out behind you. Yeah! Some charcoal pine bundles. Which gives fire on weapon. Okay! Fuck you! You thrall bastard! Let's see how much a charged heavy does. If we can land one. Gotta be careful, another one will come down from the roof on the left. Come on, you bastard. Okay, he's coming to us. One shot with a heavy. Okay, that's pretty good. We used healing a lot earlier than I wanted to, but I wanted to test that out. Go ahead and run this way. Okay, so the item we dropped over here is Loretta's Bone. If you recall, Loretta is the woman we were supposed to try to give the Blue Tear Stone ring to for Grey Rat. Turns out she's actually already dead, so we'll go back and tell him that we found her bone. But first, we got a lot of progress to make through here. You may notice that large enemy. That is, I believe, a cleric? Or something like that? Okay, watch out for that spell. It doesn't do a lot of damage, but it does a lot of bleed buildup. Let's get steady chant. That was some shit. God damn, that thing is really only useful on really weak enemies. 
We could have handled that a lot better. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, let's drop an ashen. Yeah, we lose used a lot more uh, magic than I would have liked. But it's worth it to get that Estus Shard to give us one more use with our Estus Flask. Okay. Uh, you can see up there is another item. I believe that is some Kukris. If I remember correctly, Kukris are throwing knives that do bleed. Which, as you might imagine, is very useful. Okay, we can run this way. <laughs> I tried to roll, but I just rolled where it was going to go. I think there's a side path up here. Yeah, there's an optional covenant we could join this way, actually. Damn it. Okay, we're out of healing now. Really? There we go, fuck you. Come on, bitch boy. Okay. Let's grab some homeward bones. Now you can see there's a big guy right there. That's actually a butcher. Butchers are fucking bastards, but that one's actually not going to be hostile to us. So let's, well, before we grab that. Fire bombs. Okay. Uh, there's a lot of area over here. We will get to all that eventually, but right now we're not working on that. We're working on something else. So, uh, we'll go here, and back up these roofs, and then we'll go this way. Okay. Watch out for that enemy. Okay, bastard's a little tough. Heavy solar it is. God damn. I'm thinking he must be magic resist, because he shouldn't be... Okay, piercing does a lot. So we'll kill those with our rapier instead of our magic. Got an item drop over here. Fading soul. Okay, so what we want to do is drop over there. And then we'll be able to join an optional coven covenant, the Mound Maker's Covenant. I've never actually joined the Mound Maker's Covenant. So this is going to be interesting. I did kill that guy, and apparently he doesn't respawn. Apparently it's a bad move to kill him because he's not actually hostile. And he's your key to joining the covenant. Yes, uh, yeah. If you examine his back and climb in there, that's how you join the Covenant. Flame Stone Plate Ring. That's very good. Resistance to fire. So let's go ahead and do this. Here we go. <coughs> Excuse me.
We got tossed. This looks like where we fight the uh, Curse Rider Great Greatwood in the second stage, so interesting. Looks like there's a person over here. What's up, dude? Well, what's up? This pit is for hollows, not for the likes of you, same folk. Or perhaps you are a hollow, posing as otherwise? Indeed. <laughs> yes, yes. Then we are just fine. It's important to know who you are. But we'll all be mad soon enough. And should you be undead, well, all the more so. Beware. The shackles of the gods are fragile. You might need this. Etch it on your heart if you feel your sanity slipping. Mound makers. Come here to pile up your victims, for that will form your anchor. You'll see when you go mad. They'll be your family. <laughs> You'll go mad one day, but not today. Take my advice. Use this bone and leave this place. This pit is for hollows. And for the occasional madman fond of piling up victims. You have better things to do, I'd hope. <laughs> this pit is for you. <laughs> okay, that's all we can do with him. We got a shield. Pray at sacrificial altar. Offer vertebrae shackle. We don't have any of those. So, we have a new covenant. Do to do a malformed murder brave found by the mad with a queer symbol on the inside, proof of the shackles of the gods. Equipped to pledge oneself to the mound makers' covenant. The mound makers wish only to add to their mounds, becoming mad spirits, whether summoned as cooperators or invaders. They are blithe to those around them, for in their minds any kill might lead to another shackle. Alrighty. Sure, why not? Okay, we'll haul our bone out of here. Now we're going to go back to bon the uh, shrine bonfire. For now, I think that's where I'm going to go ahead and leave this video. I know it's a rather short one, but I just want to get an initial bit there. And we'll talk to Grey Rat as well, give him Loretta's bone. So once we give him Loretta's bone, that's where we'll leave this video. Hey, bud. Oh, hello, you're back. And in one piece. Well, now it's time I do my part, huh? Give Loretta's bone. Heavens, she was already dead. Thank you. I'm not surprised, though. Almost a relief, really. You can keep the ring. As... A little trinket of thanks, I suppose. <laughs> Let's talk to him. You can keep the ring as... <laughs> oh, is that everything? Purchase item. Now, I know he has a lot of good shit. Uh, some embers, of course, nice. Uh, reduced bleeding. He sells throwing knives, fire bombs. Uh, rope fire bombs. You can throw them behind you. Rather interesting. Uh, the bandit's knife. Very good. Long sword, bastard sword, that's a great sword. Mace, spear. <sighs> Standard and fire arrows. Very good. Um, I think we'll actually purchase some throwing knives. And we could always use another ember. Goodbye. And stay safe, 
Oh, this place is a bore. What good is thievery if you've nowhere to go? <laughs> oh, hello, and in one. You can keep us. Okay, we're gonna travel away and come back because I'm pretty sure we can send him out to go thieving. Or well. So let's just travel to Firelink. It'll still do the warp thing and it should trigger effects. <sighs> Probably get some good Futurama on after this one. Okay. Go talk to Grey Rat. Hey, bud. You still bored? Heavens. Get the curl up gesture. Heavens. Heavens. Okay, we can't talk to him yet. Now he's all sad. Guess we'll trigger it one more time. That should fix him. As I said, I'm gonna try to get most, but some of them probably conflict with each other, like Henri and Yuria, and as far as I can tell, Yuria's main thing is just giving you the alternate ending which I'm not really going after in this playthrough. I mean, surely I could do another one later on to get that. But for this one, it's not our goal. It never was. Hey, bud. Ah, there you are. I was thinking. You know I'm a petty thief. Well... Perhaps I'll go on the prowl. Everyone's dead or hung the way anyway, right? So I might as well fetch some weapons or treasure for you. Well, what do you say? Send him to pillage. Thank you. You will not be disappointed. Grey Rat the Thief was once a well-known name. Until I ended up rotting in a cell. <laughs> Grey rat until I <laughs> Okay. Goodbye. I will leave for some time. So long for now. Do stay safe, you hear? Or my efforts will have been for naught. <laughs> Alright. So we've got Grey Rat's quest line triggered as well. That's where we're going to go ahead and leave this episode. Um, once we continue, we will, of course, be going through the uh, Undead Settlement. <sighs> Excuse me. And we'll be trying to get a lot more done in the Undead Settlement. Try to get most everything we can besides, of course, the boss. But for now, that's all we've got. As usual, I really hope you enjoyed the show, and have a great day.